Good morning, guys. This morning I wanted to show y'all just an easy core outfit for uh, pretty much, well, maybe not the jacket, but this shirt here, three seasonal piece, 14 ounce denim from Ironheart. I'm wearing the 21 ounce now. Um, just a good solid staples, core items that we feel like you could build on. Um, I'm not the denim salesman that's out here wanting to sell you three to five pair a year. I want to sell you one pair every three to five years. I know it's not a great business plan, but I mean, these are 10 years old and I've got people trying to buy these off of me. Um, it's not going to happen. Uh, we have a few pair uh, hanging in our New Orleans shop. Um, just to explain to our new guys, look, man, you got to put your time in. You got to, you got to earn your, uh, the looks that uh, these denim, this denim comes with. Um, so I'm starting off with a 14 ounce. This is a 555, it's a shop favorite on the fit. The reason we like the fives, a little bit higher back rise. Um, I'm wearing the sixes right now. You see a little bit low here, but they do fit my short ass well. Um, other guys may want a little bit higher rise. Um, the sevens to me, just don't give you much room at all if you have much of an ass. Um, anyway, the, the key is to having the perfect fade, the per perfect denim over time is choosing your perfect fit. Um, so to me, I think you're gonna need to trust your retailer. Um, if you live by a denim shop, that's your best bet. Um, if you don't, we'll kick ass to make sure that we service you the best uh, possible ways. Uh, videos, fit fix, flat lays, um, comparing your measurements to our measurements, um, comparing your old denim jeans that's bought from us, those measurements at brand new state to the brand new state of another pair of jeans to ensure your perfect fit or critique it a little bit wider leg or a little bit taller rise, whatever you're after. I know being this is a 666, my, my denim cut now is kind of a 634, I like a little bit wider leg. Um, but back to the fit guys, so, Easy core fall fit. Um, this is a large hang on the wall. I actually own the large and medium utility free note shirt. It's that good of a shirt um, on all three colors. But on the on the khaki, I do own oh, hung up. On the khaki, I do own uh, both sizes. Mainly, the medium's a nice fit for uh, let's say if you're just going to dinner, right? But the large throwing it on in the back shop, want something a little bit more comfortable, um, less fitted. Free notes nails it as far as um, the fit, the biceps, chest has always been something comfortable for me. The length on this uh, medium is nice for me. Um, like I said, I can wear a large as well. The, the, the fabric of this uh, shirt is actually a about a seven ounce chino fabric. Um, usually this is uh, kind of reserved for chino pants, but they use this fabric here for a, a utility shirt. So it's got some nice heft to it. Beautiful hand. It's been stone washed. So you get some highlights of like a, a little bit more of a whiter color. Um, oversized chest pockets to give you that utility look. Um, been one of my favorite shirts for a long time. Like I said, we've got a couple of them. And being a denim shop owner, I don't normally uh, get multiples of the same shirt. Um, I think this one in the ISC from Rogue Territory is the only shirts that I actually own two of, um, besides multiple colors. Anyway, I am not hope, hope not I'm boring you guys, but I just wanna show y'all some fits. Um, and basically we're, we're working on core right now. Um, this is an Indigo Ferris shirt. I really like this for the, uh, sounds odd, but I like this t-shirt for um, the fall, mainly because the length, we got, we're fully stocked on this. Um, with the length on a uh, type three jacket, so these Japanese jackets sometimes come in a little bit short, which is what I'll prefer. Um, and I don't want my t-shirt hanging out it's just a preference, but I don't like my t-shirt to hang out past my jacket, or at least be right there level with it. 
And this is the, uh, the Type 3 over dyed, uh, 16 and a half ounce slug. It's a beautiful piece. Have the same jacket and uh, the non over dyed. When you just grab it, throwing it in the Jeep, or you're throwing it on, you feel that slug. And it's just, uh, it's an amazing piece. It's a great, great feel to it. Uh, rugged feeling. Um, but yeah, I think you guys will love it. The fits on point. Hand, warm, hand warmer pockets are, are clutch. Um, interior pockets for larger items. Let's see if it's sealed off at the bottom. No, don't throw your keys in there. Um, so yeah, great piece. This is a 42. I'm weighing about 196 right now. 195, I guess. 5'8". Uh, Pairs great with uh, you know, worn out denim jeans. I'm wearing the dark brown uh, mock toes. We're pushing these hard this fall. It just goes well with everything that we're selling. Um, we're gonna have a lot of dark greens, pine greens, um, a lot of dark browns. Great staples, core pieces for your closet. Um, but hit us up guys. We wanna sell you the perfect pair of denim. Um, we'll build on it from there. Get you a great pair of boots. Get your the perfect type three jacket, type two jacket and then some solid t-shirts. If you wanna start building your collection, uh, grab, grab you a utility shirt, ISC shirt. Um, we got you dialed in. Another, another good core piece, and I, got, I can show y'all later, is a worker's chino from Freenote Note Cloth. Um, when you wanna rotate out of your denim, maybe a relaxed day or comfortable day, I size up on the worker's chinos. I crop them a little bit, cuff them, wear them with boots, sandals, loafers, whatever you'd like. Um, great piece. But here we're trying to show you all core items and stuff that you can build on. Hit me up if y'all are enjoying the videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on our Instagrams and our Facebooks. We appreciate the support. And most of all, share this with your friends. Um, it's going to be uh, beneficial to us staying in business when we're selling one pair of denim every three to five years, right? So share this with your buddies. Um, and then show us some support. I appreciate your, uh, your support, guys. Thanks.